Sean, are you at the Olympia Expo with Dennis the Menace, no stranger to the Olympia stage at the Gap booth? Dennis, the growth of this expo, I mean, it's getting kind of like it is over at FIBO in Germany. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's been uh, it's been getting bigger every year, and uh, I got to say that uh, Robin Chang is doing a tremendous job in putting this together. Absolutely, with the help of Wiener AMI as well. You were the host of the Olympia Expo yesterday, or the Olympia Press Conference. Um, a little bit subdued in years past, or did Kai's story of not being here uh, overshadow anything? Well, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just a little bit, but the, the main thing is that these guys just, I don't know, they just don't want to say what they think anymore. They just, they, everybody just trying to be nice. Everybody just trying to be the, 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 the political correct person and, you know, don't want to be rude and, and saying what they feel. I think it's, it's, it's getting a little boring if, you know, if you ask somebody, you know, how he feels and, and, and they be like, you know, I'm just worried about myself and I'm doing this and doing that. No, nah, you're training to win and you're training to beat the others, you know, and don't be afraid to voice that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. The landscape's changed a little bit from you and I uh, competition days, but now you're representing GAT. Tell me a little bit about the company you're here representing. Yeah, we've been with GAT now um, two years, actually, in September. And uh, GAT's been around for 12 years. And I just have never heard of them before. I mean, I knew the name, but I didn't really know anything about the company. Since we signed with them, I got to say that got uh, really, really moved up in the industry of uh, supplements, and they're doing pretty well. They came out with new supplements, and they have a great line, and you know, it's good stuff, good Absolutely. products. Absolutely, it certainly didn't hurt by having you on board because look at the line you got here. You're creating a lot of buzz for the company. Any predictions for the Olympia to, to uh, tomorrow's finals? Yeah, I, I predict that Phil did his homework and is going to come in slam dunk it tomorrow. Um, Give me your surprise of the weekend. Who's going to be the the dark horse? You know, I want to say Rami, but I don't work with him no more, so I have no idea what he looks like. You know, but um, I think the dark horse for me will be um, Dexter. Dexter Jackson, by popular senses. He's not even a dark horse. Dexter's yeah. been around longer than anybody else on that stage. But nobody thinks that Dexter can basically get better at age of 45. And I believe that he is probably one of the best Dexters that you know, we've ever seen, and a Dexter is a very dangerous Dexter when everybody else is not 100%. Absolutely. A lot of the census is, is that Dexter is going to pull a rabbit out of his hat at 45 years young, knocking on the door at age 46, still inspiring, still challenging after all these years, his 16th Olympia. But right now, I'm going to let Dennis James get back to his fans here at the Gap booth at the Olympia Expo. I'm Sean Ray, MuscularDevelopment.com.